Once upon a time, there was a sad, immortal player. He was tired of loading up his game, playing and always losing. Till the one day, he was casually browsing through YouTube and found this video. Of the top 10 tips how to improve in any RTS game, including Immortal Gates of Fire. What if I told you, this could be you. Are you tired of always losing? Looking to become a better player and get that GG! And win some more matches? What's up you crazy people? I am Mr. Bayoufai. And in this video, I will share my top 10 advanced RTS tips how to improve in Immortal Gates of Fire with some bonus tips at the end. And you do not want to miss out on them. Number 1. Scouting Knowing what your enemy is planning and reacting to their aggression or game plan can ensure you make the correct decision. In Immortal, this is easy because you have access to early game free scout units. So make sure you use this to keep an eye on your opponent and react accordingly. Number 2. Creep Camps Spread across the map is neutral, AI-controlled creep camps that gives you an edge on the battlefield and a lead in Pyre. Make it a priority to kill the camps whenever you get the chance. And in the same tip, moving to number 3, using pyre efficiently. You gain pyre from every neutral creep camp you kill, and pyre is used for casting your strong immortal abilities. Make sure you have a healthy supply of pyre and use them only in key moments to turn a battle in your favor. Number 4, supply cap. The worst thing in any RTS is to get supply block and preventing you from building soldiers when an enemy attack is pushing out towards you. Always keep your eyes on the supply limit and make sure you have enough cap for one production cycle. Otherwise, increase your supply limit by building more supply houses. Luckily, in Immortal Gates of Fire, your supply limit houses and unit training buildings are the same one. So this makes this process a lot easier. Number 5. Spend resources. If you have too much cash, this means you are not spending your resources efficiently and you're falling behind in army size or technology. Always make sure you have low money in the bank and always keep on producing and upgrading. Number 6. Build orders. The basic fundamental that is crucial in any RTS is build orders. The worst thing you can do is just go and build every single building without a plan. Choose one build order, learn it and master it. Plan what units and what buildings you need and build according to your plan. Practice your build order offline and try to master the timings as quick as possible. Number 7. Effective Micro Micro is one of the core combat mechanics in any RTS game. Efficient Micro can make a smaller army win a battle against a bigger, unmicroed force. This can be in a form of target firing, pulling away injured units or casting abilities. Use this to turn an unfavorable battle in your favor. Number 8. Multitasking Macro, Micro and RS Unlike other games, RTS games requires a lot of actions to happen at the same time. Build yourself a checklist and go over each action every few seconds and this can be drilled into your routine. For example, my routine will be scout, check the minimap, build units, build buildings, move army, attack, micro and repeat the above cycle. Number 9. Control Groups Control Groups makes managing large armies a lot easier. Not only armies but scouts, buildings or defensive mechanics. Immortal Gates of Fire makes selecting units a lot easier. Any army units that is not part of a control group yet will automatically be added to the All Army Group button D on the keyboard. Selecting those units and adding them to a new group will remove them from the All Army Group. Some tips. Keep your core attacking army on one specific key. Keep your scouts on another key. Harass units needs to be another key. And defense force on another key. Number 10. Workers and resource management. Immortal has a nice worker management system. You do not have to select any single worker to build a building. You open your command card on the hotkeys and the AI will choose the best and closest worker to build the structure and automatically return to mining once it's complete. You also do not even have to build any workers as they are produced automatically from the town centers. Even better, the high-end ether resource are mined automatically 
after constructed. The only way you can manage your workers and resources is to ensure that you have the right number of workers on each resource and upgrading the resources at the new town centers you build. Bonus tips! Number 11. Study units. Make sure you know not only your own faction units but all the other factions as well to know what units are strong versus which and who counters what units. Knowing when your enemy is pushing only with light units and knowing your own faction well enough to know what unit is strong versus light units can easily flip the battle in your advantage. Number 12. Practice, practice and practice. You can have the best knowledge of any build order, know which units counters what, but it all comes down to the physical ability to implement all of these game mechanics. Only way to do this is practice. Practice versus other players, practice in an empty server, or even practice in the break the game tournaments. Even better if you can practice versus high level opponents. Number 13. Learn the hotkeys. You are doing RTS wrong if you are not using hotkeys. You are slowing things down way too much if you are only using your mouse to try and click on everything. And this is putting you at a huge disadvantage. The best thing you can do is to learn and master the hotkeys on the keyboard to make sure you are able to do everything that is needed to while still building, macroing, back at the base while you are scouting or attacking. Immortal made hotkeys easy to learn and no need to relearn from each faction. Immortal hotkey command card makes it a universal layout of the same units and buildings in the same position to easily switch over to any faction. Number 14 Map Control Vision is crucial in any RTS game. Knowing what and when your enemy is doing something and knowing where they are doing it can make you react much faster. Your eyes need to be very close to the minimap not to miss anything and ensure map is not covered by fog of war. Easy ways to do this is setting up towers across the map, having scouts at core locations on the map, your army positioning and leaving a few units scattered across the map. Hope you enjoyed this video and this can help you to become a master of immortal gates of pyres. If you want to find out more about the Qrafi race, Tech Tree, Immortals, I will leave a video link here now. Also, if you are looking for more RTS or Immortal videos, I have a full library of videos that you can browse to learn more of the new and upcoming RTS games of the future. This is Mr. Beefy signing off. Mr. Beefy!